with the Geek Group, and you're not. We're here talking about a whole new product called Chipotle. Good job. <laughs> Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. This is Dave General Badass Harwood. Yep. And welcome to the Geek Group. Where today we're gonna take a minute and talk about zombies. We are. This is this is a thing. Yeah, we got zombies. We do have zombies, lots of zombies. Alright, so you wanna break it down for them? Like what what Zom is and like our involvement with this and how we hooked up and all that. It's his fault. He it did really it. is. Yeah. It's so uh Pretty much for you geek group guys who don't know what Zom is, Zom is an extreme crazy night of shooting people with stuff like this. Because they're zombies and they're trying to eat your brains. Don't worry, we're not unreasonable here. Nobody's going to eat your eyes, but they are after your brains. And we run around with Nerf, whichever brand this is, Busby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kidwell picked that up last week. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, they're after this too. Yeah, we're gonna use this one of these days. So we should we should discuss what Zom is like. Talk about the history. Um, so pretty much four years ago, a crazy guy named Rob Bliss came along and he was like, "It'd be really fun to go in the park and like run around with zombies <laughs> and shoot them and hunt them. And I want to hunt zombies." So he got together with 12, 15 of his friends and they ran around for six hours. And then they told their friends, and they came and then they told their friends, their friends, and then I got dragged in. Okay. I was like, what is this? But you've been in since pretty much the beginning. Just about. I okay. came in about halfway through their first season. It's been four seasons now. I've been running it for about three of them. Okay. Um, and we had, you know, some decent people running it. And it was like, we can do so much more of this, so much more of this. And the guy who was writing it for Rob went off to college. So I came in. I said, okay, rules are not written down. We're going to write down the rules. We're going to make sure we have rules that are work. Not going to hurt anybody. Keep it safe. Keep it fun. Keep it extreme. Stuff like that, and um, different variations. You know, you try to get to a helipad to get out, save the pilot, get out. Now we should we should talk about what Zom is, like what the actual game is, okay? Because there's a lot of people have no idea that people. it's you know, well, they do shooting people, but you know, there's there's a difference between shooting them with Nerf guns and shooting them with like you know long rifles. That's, and what, that's what I said. So we run around with stuff like this yeah. and Nerf. And so it's the the fundament the, the fundamental idea of the game is ah. you start out with two groups of people. You get a whole bunch of people, which are high school, college guys, and a handful of them volunteer to be zombies. Or if they don't volunteer, we volunteer them. Yeah. And <laughs> we kill them, they come back in a yeah. couple minutes. Now, if you're a zombie, the entire goal for you is you have to two hand tap a person and then they become a zombie. Mm -hmm. If you're a human, your entire goal is to shoot zombies with <laughs> a Nerf gun in the tit, <laughs> and <laughs> at which point the zombie is dead for, it's a minute 20, isn't it? It's two minutes, you count to 120. Yeah, you have to, it's two minutes in that you have to count to 120, and I've seen people do it in what could not have taken more than 30 seconds. It did, what did you Yeah, and it's insane. Oh, I got 120. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I got 120. And, and that's the idea of the game, that's the whole thing. It's, it's like super tag. And you do this over a very large area. Um, you guys have always done it over a big park out yep. of Cascade, which is like, I don't know, probably a dozen acres for that place easy. No more. Um, and we're working on other outdoor locations since mm -hmm. I came into the picture. And, and an indoor location or two. We are working on an indoor so location. Can, so we can do this year round. Yeah. But that's the fundamental idea of the game. It's, it's a hell of a lot of fun. It's a, a massive physical workout because you're running back and forth all night long. And you got bigger end, guns if you can't run. That's great. Yeah, and the, the basically it's a timed event where we'll take like a couple hours um, for a, for a big game, and at the end it ends with a helipad. Yeah. Where Dave will come out with the group of mods moderators, and they'll lay out a tarp or some kind of area designator, and say this is the helipad, and we light it up really bright with flashlights, and everybody has 15 minutes. How Actually, only about five. five. That's it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. They have five minutes to get into the helipad, and you are evacuated in the imaginary helicopter that will take us to Zanzibar or whatever. And, yeah, that's, that's the basics of Zone. Now, you'd done this for four years. Yeah. Now, how far had you taken it? Um, we had a game with 1,100 one day. Okay. And it kind of went downhill. We realized we were getting a ton of injuries, um, threats of parents suing, 
just all kinds of bad stuff. So we because you got people like piling on each other. Right, the we got guys it was, it was my size going. Too many people. I'm gonna tackle you instead yeah. of tap you because you know we tried every rule possible. We tried tackling for a day. <laughs> yeah, for a day. <laughs> <laughs> it almost worked. It almost worked. Really so. fun for guys your size, it not was so much great for guys for me. my I'm size. Trailing 12 people <laughs> into the helipad, life was great. <laughs> But, so, yeah, little guys like Chris, you know, getting crushed, broken bones, and their parents got me, what did you do to my child? Yeah, and for, like, the, the giant game, there were a couple of people that actually did get oh, yeah. seriously hurt, like broken oh, we, bones uh, and stuff. That big game actually went okay. It was the games after that. Once everybody found out about this. Ah, uh, then it went nuts? Right. All okay. kinds of football players and just people who wanted to hit people came out. So I sat down and I said, okay, we're going to write out the rules. Okay. We're going to come up with some kind of waiver so we can control everything and find out who people are where they're coming from, and, you know, hey, and if you, you mess with people, you're army of you're moderators. Out. Right. We've got about 25 people who go out there and they ref the games, make sure nothing happens. Yeah. I, I've noticed that the, the number of mods versus number of people is really impressive. You have yeah. a lot of supervision now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like it was back in the beginning with, like, three mods and 500 people. Now it's, like, right. 20, 30 mods. And we didn't so. know what we were doing back then either. Yeah. It's just like, how do we do this? <laughs> I broke my arm, what do I do? Go to the hospital. I got myself, what do I do? I got three more cuts. Uh, somebody's fighting now. And now I see we've got yeah. medics and things like that. We do. So we've you know, got people a that are first responders and EMTs and all that jazz. Yep. So there's there's a lot more safety to it now. Yep. And Point. infrastructure, there's rules and it's official. It's it's a yep. thing now. Yeah. Um and then I came along. Yeah. Which is entirely Corey's fault. Corey the, the cameraman who nobody ever sees. Say hi. 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 <laughs> Um, Corey drug me out to a ZOM event for reasons I really, I don't know how I got suckered into that. Because you heard zombies and It was more like these are, these are geeks and I, I'm a geek and I like geeks and I tend to collect geeks. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I need to go meet these people. Mm -hmm. And I went out and had a blast. Mm -hmm. Absolute. Walks amazing. up, lights his wallet on fire, here's a card. <laughs> I'm a magician. It's what I do. Hey, it works. <laughs> magic time. Uh, I don't think I've ever done that in a video. I don't. I don't do much magic in the videos. I, I, especially in the studio here. I don't. I just don't do it. Um, but I got involved. Yep. I, I went to an event and I checked it out and I was really interested. Came back for the next one and was even more interested. And that's really after the second one is when you and I started talking. Yep. Um, and it was the the idea was you've got this great idea, this great concept, and it's proven it's been around for four years, and you've worked the bugs out of it, and it's safe, and everybody has a good time, and nobody gets hurt, and it's, it's just a good thing, mm -hmm. but you were at when the end of your rope. put You're the <laughs> rules in place, everybody said, well, we're, a lot of people said we don't want to do this anymore, because yeah, it had you're rules. destroying the game. Yeah. And okay, so you can't kill somebody now when you <laughs> come out, because we'll... You know, call the cops. Yeah, we can like, track you. And I, I saw a lot of people vanish when you came out with waivers. It was like, yep. no, you have to have a parent signature. You have to do this. And and now you're down to events that are a few hundred people. Yeah. You know, typical events, few hundred people. That's still a lot of people. Yeah. And and it's a lot safer. It's a lot more fun. And you don't have people doing flying tackles and whatnot. And it's it's the way it should be. It's fun. Yep. It's not. I'm gonna go out and beat ass for like six hours. Oh, and you know, yeah. And then I came along. Mm-hmm. So this is this is where we need to explain to people what's going on because we we want people to you know we want full disclosure we want people to know what's going on right the basic idea of it is I'm well so you took over explaining Zom I'm gonna take over explaining the geek group go ahead go ahead so because I wanted to get the fundamentals of the game because you I, there's a lot of people out there that you're used to everybody right. who knows Zom yeah I it's, wanted to cover it's the been basics a while. for yeah. It's been a while since you had to be like okay we have people that are zombies mm -hmm. and we have people that are humans. <laughs> I'm the same way when it comes to explaining what does a geek group do. Right. So yeah. And the geek group <laughs> is just, it's insane. If you go onto their YouTube channel, they've got so many videos out there of crazy things like the world's largest Newton's Cradle bumper. We've got three Guinness records. Well, three wow. world's records. I don't know if they're official Guinness records yet, but well, we have three world money. records. Guinness you got to get them though. out here is the hard part. Yeah. I mean, we've got it. We, it's easily world's largest Newton's Cradle, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Try to get Guinness to show up. So if anybody from Guinness is watching this, Give us a call. Am I Irish? I love Guinness. Uh. <laughs> you don't even look Irish. Not even a little bit. Oh, it's <laughs> the flaming red hair. Oh, of course. All right, so but tell me about the Geek Group. Geek Group, world's largest Newton Crayle, Tesla coils, blowing stuff up with um, death rays. Oh, God, don't get me started. Oh, death rays. That was, that was a wonderful video to watch. We're not talking about the 
Oh, the solar death ray. Right. Totally different. There's a right. Dude. Have you seen the guy in the forums with the death ray? No. Oh, God. We're not going to talk about. Okay, that. we won't. Yeah. Um, magnets, ferrofluid, blowing stuff up, blowing more stuff up. Airbags. Airbags. Trains. Um, trains. Vehicles. Train cranes. Street sweepers. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, street luges. Yeah. Um, full CNC machine shop. You stuff we can make this with like aluminum. And then you don't have to Plus, paint it anymore. Plus, they're working on getting buildings, guys. Buildings. Big buildings. Like what, a four story with creepy basement? It definitely has creepy basement. Very creepy 50, basement. 50,000, it's closer to 60,000 square feet, I think. Yeah. Um, we got a big building we're working on where we'll be able to do indoor ZOM events mm -hmm. year round. It's Plus, coming. it's right by a couple parks that we go to. Zombie. Yeah, there's like three different parks, right? Yeah. Within a very short, like within a block. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So, what's next? But the geek group, it's like. What you is guys come together. You've, you've talked about like stuff we have, like stuff we have, and machine shop and lightning and explosions and it? lasers and. They come together. It's kind of like a zom. I say, hey, everybody, pitch in a quarter. Yeah. Something like that. We can do this. They do the same thing except on million dollar scales. We we. We do play a little bit bigger than you guys do. Yeah, <laughs> just a little. So they're the same thing. They all come together, they band together so they can do crazy experiments and build awesome stuff like Nerf guns <laughs> and Busby and all those other guys. If anybody from there is watching, call us. <laughs> <laughs> so OK, let me, you want me to give that a shot? If you want. OK. The Geek Group is a multinational nonprofit organization. We've got members in over 110 countries now. Um, there are, we have thousands of members all over the world. It's guys like you. If you're watching this video, you're probably a geek because normal, rational people, they've been gone for 10 minutes now. Um, we're a place where guys like you can not just get together like in a website, like, uh, like there's, there's a lot of websites for guys that like to tinker, like mm -hmm. make and stuff like that. And there's a lot of hacker spaces where a dozen guys will band together and, and have a little workshop in somebody's pole barn or something like that or rent like 500 square foot out on the edge of the town and in the industrial area and they'll put some tools together and they have a little hacker space. We're what happens when you take those to the corporate level, to the enterprise level. We, have, we are the way to network thousands of individual hacker spaces around the world because your typical hacker space has, you know, some, some this. They've got some hand tools and tape measure and stuff like that, maybe a power drill, but if they need time on a big CNC machine, that's usually out of their realm. Mm -hmm. So they come to us and they say, hey, we've got this really cool AutoCAD drawing, we've got our G code, can you help us turn this into a thing? They show up, boom, you can get time on our machine. And we share resources and materials and tools and people and everything. We act as the, the central hub to create this giant nexus of all the hacker spaces. It's the geek group, and we bring them all together. And we're a place where normal, rational guys like. Yeah. OK. Um, where other people can get together and tinker. Like, you can walk in the door here, and it's like walking in the doors at NASA. Imagine if you could walk into MIT or NASA or, or Mythbusters and pick up any tool you wanted and build anything you can imagine. That's what the Geek Group is about. It's duct tape boats? Duct tape boats. Or you could, you know, if, if you want to come in and take an old scanner and use this to play music, and you can, you can play MIDI songs on these. It's actually awesome. really cool. Um, you, you can. You can take an old scanner, and we've got piles of stuff like this. We have giant warehouses with <laughs> anything you can imagine, pretty much. And we're constantly getting more stuff. We get thousands of computers donated every year. And we give away thousands of computers. We, we give them, like, not just like into the community and stuff like that. Like, we give away computers to people in need. Um, you know, like some family's house burns down or something like that, or some poor kid that can't afford a computer for school. We give them computers. We just give them away. Um, and we do stuff where we give a lot of these computers to guys like Dave who might want to build a weather station or a, a ham radio project or something like that. Or a giant group that fights zombies. Or a giant group that fights zombies that happens to need like a, a helipad activator laptop right. that they can take out in the field and, and you type in the code on the laptop and now you have a helipad. Yeah. That's, not that that's a project for a future zombie oh, thing that we've been working not. on. Why would like we that. ever want to do something anything about like that? that. No, no, no. But no, that's no, what no. the geek group is. is it's, it's a, a way for guys to get together and tinker. Now, here's where it gets neat. 
a lot of the guys that like to tinker and build and, and you know get off the computer and come to the geek group and, and actually be involved and do stuff tend to be a lot of the same kind of guys that like to run around with Nerf guns and be outdoors and be active and rawr and, and they're geeks, they're gaming mm -hmm. geeks. And what you have, what, what Zom is, is functionally a real life video game. Exactly. That's the idea. It's, it's a real life video game. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of friends in common. So I approached Zom and said, hey, you guys have this really great idea and it's really stable and it's really solid and you've been doing it for years, but it could be so much more. And you knew it could be. You mm -hmm. wanted it to be. You just didn't have the help. You didn't have yeah. the infrastructure. So the Geek Group came along and we've partnered and we bring love with the big hairy men. Yes. So what we're doing now is we're taking Zom to the next level. Mm -hmm. We're bringing Zom under the umbrella of the Geek Group so that you have the operating protection of a corporation. A real, yep. it, isn't, you know, it isn't just three guys off a couch somewhere with a notepad. It's real offices and real infrastructure. Lawyers. And lawyers and all that Accountants. jazz. Mm. And what we want to do is get Zom to a much, much higher level. Now, we just started doing this in like the last three games of the season. Something like that. When huh? we, like, we met and it was you know, right at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. So we're working on some stuff over the winter and there'll be a lot more stuff next year. Like you just saw some Zom videos go up. We, you now have a website at yep. the Geek Group. In fact, the website is right there. Yeah. And you can go and get involved. You can be a Geek Group member and are automatically be eligible for Zom events. We're going to be melding the membership. Yep. Um, we're asking all of the participants in Zom to become Geek Group members because we're going to be creating forums and that for Zom, mm -hmm. and it's all part of the Geek Group. But that's that's the basics of it. It is. It's not you know the Geek Group just bought Zom and took it over or anything stupid like that. No, that's yeah. not what we're doing. It's we have a lot in common. He needs help. We need people. He has people. We have infrastructure. So we're it's it's a partnering thing. Zom is a part of the Geek Group. We're not. Changing it like that, we're not going to mess it up. It's still going to be. Oh, zone. they're going to change it. We're they're going to give us buildings. It. Yeah, we're going to have buildings. We're going to have more than one space. We're going to have you know proper radio. We've got what three outdoor sites set up for next season already. And that's it. That's without getting the new lab. Right. So we've got the water site. Yep. We've got the underbridge site. We've got you know, all kinds of stuff. There's there's a lot to it. Zom is changing, but Zom is growing up. Right. So Zom is has gone varsity. So that's about it. That's it. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. All right, so We're home, guys. <laughs> so get involved. Get go to the Geek Group, thegeekgroup.org. Um, fill out a membership application. Get in the forums. Tell your friends. Bring your friends to Azam. Get a Nerf gun. Um, if you have any videos that you want to see us make, you know we're we're here. We're making videos. We're happy yeah. to help. Um, and our next one, Kid Wall Mod. Yeah, we got the Kid Wall Mod on a bunch of that's going nuts. Um, and we now we're done. So we can. We just happen to have this sitting here. You want to apart. We take this apart. Going to put an autopsy? Sure. What you, he's shooting ya! I'm a nice guy! Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> I think I I'm, killed the camera. Ah! <laughs> the camera's dead. <laughs> it says no signal over here. No, I've got that camera. I lost you. I think you unplugged it. Yeah. Oh, we're back! Hey, there I'm, you go. And we're back! <laughs> I want the drugs that you're on. I don't know what they are, but nice. I want some life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm high on Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Hey, fish and garlic bread. Huh? Fish and garlic bread. Mm-hmm. I thought it was, you know, some mustard and biscuits. You got a pretty mouth. Right now, I'll never tell you that. Mm-hmm. Someday you're going to grow up and your voice will quit changing. And I know. Fine. Mm -hmm. You know, I expect better from a professional. Pretty in is fun. <laughs> I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm General Badass. You guys have fun. We'll see you next time here on The Geek Group. In the meantime, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And donate, you cheap yeah. bastard. Kick a buck. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.